Hey everyone and thank you so much for watching today's video. In this video I'm going to show you this very easy everyday eye look using only three eyeshadows. But before I go in with any eyeshadow I'm first going to prime the eyelids. I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Soft Ochre Paint Pot and to apply this I'm taking my Sigma Beauty P84 brush. Now this is going to remove the redness from the eyelid. It's going to make sure that my eyeshadow is going to stay flawless all day. I've been using this primer for years and I really like it. Now in today's video I'm going to take this palette uh, which I received new in the mail. It has a really beautiful packaging and it's called the Afterglow Eyeshadow Palette. So I wanted to do a really soft look and I'm going to start with using this kind of peachy pink color. It's really beautiful and I'm going to start blending this all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm using a Sigma Beauty E40 brush and this shade is just going all over in the crease. This is going to be the base color for today's eyeshadow look. And like I said earlier, I'm only going to use three eyeshadow. So I'm using this shade in the crease. The next, I'm going to take one color all over the eyelid and I'm going to use one shade above the lash line, which is actually optional. You can even do this eye look with only two shades, um, but I wanted to give it a little bit of a different twist. So now after blending the shade all over in the crease, I'm going to use it for the lower lash line as well. I'm taking a flat definer brush and I first kind of pressed and blended my brush back and forth to really apply the shade. And then I went in with a tiny blending brush and I'm just going back and forth with my brush to smudge it all out. So now the next shade is this one, which I don't really know how to describe this shade, but it's like a peachy golden. Um, in the packaging itself, it kind of looks golden, but when you apply it, I think it actually has more of a pink reflect. It's really beautiful. If you recreate this eye look, you can definitely use one of the other shimmery shades in the palette as well. It also has more of a taupey brown color and also more of a bronzy color so you can definitely give your own twist to this but I wanted to go for a shade which kind of suits really well with the color I used all over in the crease and the palette is actually called the afterglow eyeshadow palette it's really beautiful not sure if I mentioned that already so I just used my finger to apply it all over the eyelid you can also use a flat brush make it a bit wet using a setting spray and then apply it and that will make the shade even more intense but I wanted to go for more of a softer finish so now next I'm going to take this dark matte brown color using a flat diviner brush again from Sigma Beauty and I'm going to use a little bit of that above the lash line now this is kind of optional I don't know if it makes a huge difference but I was just looking at the eye look and I was like okay this is very natural even though there's nothing wrong with that but I I think that's just something that always happens with me when I do eye look I always want to apply more and more I can never keep it basic um, but I know like a lot of people actually want to do like a really easy look for every day so I just kind of need to get used to it to just keep it more simple so now for the one line I'm going to take the Suifa eyeshadow pencil in the color Canut, which is a really beautiful neutral color pencil I don't really like to use white in the one line I used to do that back in the days but I actually feel it looks too harsh and this is more of a neutral tone and then for my mascara I'm going to use the Maybelline great lash mascara which is one of my favorite drugstore mascaras i always apply a thin coat on the upper lashes because i really don't like how my upper lashes look they're just really short there are gaps in between so i'm not really focused on that i really like this mascara because it makes my lower lashes very long and i actually also like it for my brows as you can see, see me do right now um, it's not like a super thick mascara so it makes my brow hairs look really natural now for my lashes, I'm going to take these Dubai Doll Lashes from Barry M. It was the first time trying them out and I'm going to apply them straight above the lash line. I'm using a tweezer to press it against the skin of my eye. And the lash glue I always use is by House of Lashes. It's the white colored lash glue. It's amazing. I've been using it for years and it's my ride or die. And then this is the end of the video. I really hope you all enjoy watching this super easy everyday eye look. If you don't want to wear fake lashes with this eye look, you can definitely skip this step. I know like lashes always makes it a lot more dramatic. I personally really like it, but if you have beautiful lashes from yourself, you can just finish it off with some mascara and you're good to go. So yeah, I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye.